hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we will talk about the difference between where and having clause so in sql if you see fundamentally there are two ways to filter data either using where clause or having clause right this is the they, these are the only two ways to filter the data and i see lot of people getting confused when to use where and when to use having clause so in this video i will make it clear that when you should use where and when you should use having clause to filter the data okay so let's take the exam this example we have an employee table and it has eight records eight employees four employees belong to one department department id 100 and another four employees department id 200 and their salaries we have now let's say someone is asking you that give me the employees whose salary is greater than 10,000. So here I will put where salary is greater than 10,000. Okay. So when you use where clause, it will go to each row individually and check if this condition is qualifying. So when I say salary greater than 10,000, it will go to first row and see if it is greater than 10,000 no so this record will not come in the output similarly it will go to the second record third record so where the loss will be applied filter on row by row it will go to each row and apply the filter that's it it will not look at the another row when it is checking this row it won't check any other row it will just check if its salary is greater than 10,000 then it will give so if I run this it will give me only the employees where salary is greater than 10,000. It is again I am saying it is running this filter on individual rows. That's it. Nothing more than that. Now let's say someone is asking you that give me those departments whose every salary is greater than 10,000, right? So this department, if I take average of these four, is it more than 10,000? Then give me the department ID. Again, if I take average of these four, is it more than 10,000? Then yes, give me the department ID. So in this case, if you want to apply filter, you cannot apply on individual rows because by looking at this row only, I can't say the average of department ID 100 is greater than 10,000 or not. I will have to look at the all the department IDs, right? And that's where I will have to do the aggregation. And whenever I have to apply filter on aggregated value, I have to use having clause. So let's go there now. Select department ID. And then I will take average of salary from PMP. By department ID. Okay, so here if I so if I just run this, it will give me the average of each department. That for department ID hundred average is ten thousand, and for two hundred it is ninety five hundred. Right now, I need to apply filter on this aggregated value. So I will say having. average of salary greater than let's say I want to find out greater than 9500 right so this record will qualify and this will not qualify right so here it is right so whenever so I, I think it is clear now whenever you have to apply filter on any aggregated value use having if you have to apply filter on individual row you want to check individually each row then it is where clause now there can be instances where you have to apply both the filters right we will see that also so always remember the where filter will be applied first and then having filter okay so let's say the this is what so they are saying that first find out all the employees whose salary is greater than 10,000 and then see what is the average department ID and give me those departments whose average salary is more than 10,000. Okay, so something like this select where salary is greater than 10,000. Okay, so what it will do, it will first we are first filtering on this 
then i am saying give me department id on top of this this will run and this salary apply same group by department id okay so when i am doing this having average of salary greater than 10000 okay we will run this later let's run this first so what it will do i i will put this condition later let's see what are the values so it will first applying 10000 greater than 10000 so where filter is applied now on top of it i am getting the average salary so every salary of this is 15000 now and this is 12000 now so i will just say give me greater than 12000 for now and now it will give me only the department id 100 so hope it is clear points to remember again i will repeat that where clause is applied to each individual row and having filter is applied to aggregated values if you have both then where filter will be applied first and then having filter will be applied first always remember if you can filter data in where you have to filter in where don't filter in having okay hope it is clear do like the video please i see a lot of people are not liking videos if you don't like that is fine but if you it is adding value then please do like the video and click on the subscribe button thanks for watching